Okay, so for our first question, then we have this grinding wheel. It's going to start from rest, and it's going to have this constant alpha, so a constant rotational acceleration. And it's going to turn at a rate of 250 revolutions per minute. So I look at this thing, and this thing here, it could be tempting to just call that omega. But let's think about what that thing is. Remember I said, if we have, um, what do we have? We had uh, like a 45 RPM. Well, 45 RPM, I said that's rotations per minute. Well, this is kind of like the same gosh darn thing, right? This is 250 revolutions per minute, and this is rotations or revolutions per minute. It's the same thing. So this value here, this 250, is a frequency. 250, we can think of it as rotations per minute to the negative one, or I can just go like this. Oops, let me write it neater. 250 rotation, revolutions per minute. So this is a frequency. So let's think about this. We want, when we're seeing alphas and we know that it gets up to this final rate of rotation, I need to turn this frequency into omega. So what I need in there is first of all to have this in terms of seconds. So we can go ahead and do that. And say, okay, so I have 250, I'm just gonna say rotations, this is the same thing, per minute times one minute has 60 seconds. Now I have a frequency in terms of time in seconds, so that's good. But remember when we went over to our unit circle here, well, what was kind of like the, the transition thing that gave us, we're sweeping this thing out in terms of the circumference of this thing. So for this piece, the bridge between omega and rotations says that I have two pi radians per rotation. Okay, so it's not giving us a distance. Remember, if I threw r in there, then that turned this into velocity. But what this is giving me is to see my rotations cancel, my minutes cancel. This is giving me radians per second, which is the units that I want for omega. So that will give me my omega value, which is. 26, roughly, 26 radians per second. Cool. So what this is, what I have here is omega final. Omega not, I don't know. I do know, it starts at rest, so it starts at zero. Alpha, I don't know, that's what I want. How am I going to get there? So let's take a look at our equations that we have. I want acceleration. Do I have a time? Oh, yes, I do. Left out an important piece because I was starting to think I didn't give you enough information. All of this took in three seconds. There we go. So I know time is three seconds. This suddenly got a lot easier. So let's see, I have a change in omega. So I have a d omega dt, which is going to be my 26 is my final, 26 radians per second, minus zero for my initial, final minus initial, divided by my total time is three, and that's darn near nine, it's like eight point something or other, it's maybe a little more exact than that, so 26 divided by three. Oh, come on, computer. There we go, 8.7. Now, what is this units? This is radians per second over seconds. So this is radians per second squared. So I've answered the first one. So theta, theta then, what is theta? So I know my acceleration. I know my final and my initial and I know my time. So let's take a look. I can come here to theta where I rewrote this. 
So my theta, here's my initial, that was zero. I know my alpha and I know the amount of time that happens. So that seems like that's gonna be the most straightforward way to get there. So then my total theta, or my change in theta, starting from zero, and that's why that works, is going to be omega naught t, well that part zero, plus one half alpha, here's my alpha, 8.7 radians per second squared, times one half a t squared. So if I'm ever gonna forget about that t being squared, one of the things that can guide me here is that the second squared is on the bottom, so I have to get a time in terms of second squared to turn this into just radians. So times my time squared, which is three squared. I'll put the seconds in there so you can see that. So let's punch that out. So my 8.7 times nine divided by two, divided by two, gives me 39 radians. And there we go.